Hello, welcome to another studio vlog. Today I am exporting a video and prepping some thumbnails. I have a video that's going up today. Mostly just last minute things for that. I like to have my videos edited a couple weeks ahead of time, but right before I upload, I like to do some last minute tweaks and yeah, have fresh eyes when I look at stuff. So I'm designing pencil cases for the next mystery bundle that I will be launching during the holidays. And I think I wanna do ones that say artist on it. So I'm trying to do like a paintbrush sort of design. But you can watch me design them for a little bit. I don't know, I'm just toying around with ideas. Okay, I'm gonna take this design over to the computer now and see what we can do with it. I finalized the design for my pencil cases. I'm so excited about these. Look at this. I've been working on this for a long time, but I got it exactly how I want it. I just needed to do it in Illustrator. <laughs> so I think I want this pencil case to be like a corally pinkish orange and then bright yellow because it's saying artist and I want it to have really bold colors. And I think it will go with the notepads that are in the box. I don't know if I showed you the notepads or not. Let me see. I'm really, really excited for these. So yeah, I'm gonna have pencil cases and notepads and then I'll do stickers and prints. This box is very expensive to put together. Oh my goodness. I will show you a proof of the pencil case though. So here is a mock-up of what I'm thinking of. I really like it. The colors are just so cool. It's just always scary like buying all this stuff up front because like what if nobody wants it? <laughs> and I poured my heart into it. I don't know. I've been working on this design in my head for a long time. I'm gonna go and finalize this stuff. I did order custom boxes to fit the pencil cases like perfectly and the boxes are so cute on the outside like do you wanna see what I'm doing today? I'm working on a moth painting using all my acrylic gouache colors. It's a good time. It's been a while since I've done a moth and I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Just finished another painting. Hopefully these are up by the time you see this video. nice outside. What do you think? It feels good. It does. It's fall. It is fall. Officially. Do you know what I've been thinking? Hmm. Halloween sucks. Stop. People are going to hate on you. <laughs> Spiderwebs on bushes. Come on. Bro. You do spend like all year trying to get rid of those and then put up fake ones at Halloween and just keep the real ones up. Packing orders, hanging out with Dorf. I have a lot of stuff to go through because I got a lot of products to release. cleaning up my studio right now and then I'm getting ready to film another video. This is all I have to pick up at the moment. I made these little rags to blot my paintbrushes and I'm loving it so far. Basically I have this basket full of knitting stuff and I stopped knitting for a really long time but now I have all the string to use up. So I've been knitting like pot holders and I'm gonna do booties for the babies and I'm gonna make a sensory board for them and stuff like that. It's fun to use stuff up. I've been really trying to do that with like hair products and just different cosmetics and art supplies, everything. I really need to clean this off. I'm thinking I want to redecorate it. Anyway, today, what I want to film... So 
So I used this stuff in video a couple times, actually. Let me move my computer. As I was saying, I have used this a couple times in videos in the past. And pretty much like once a year, I think of using this stuff again because I don't know, around the holidays, it's fun to do easier crafts sometimes. And I kind of like to show easier things on my channel around the holidays because people are inside more and if big art projects intimidate people, then something easy like this is approachable and something that anybody can do. And I want my channel to feel like an approachable, safe, welcoming space for any artist, whether you're a beginner, you're advanced, or you know, in between. Intermediate. Really need coffee today. Well, I finished my scratch paper video. Whew, I'm out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. But I really enjoyed this because this was a simple artistic thing that I literally made for the sake of creating. And it feels so good to just create, you know? I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way now because my desk got peppered from the film on this. I know I joke around about my crusty brushes and stuff a lot in videos, but one thing I just can't handle is a dirty desk. Crusty brushes are one thing, but like a grimy desk that's germy and stuff, mm -mm. no thank you. So I just got back from Target and we're gonna do the painting on random things I found at Target video. I decided to do this last night when I couldn't sleep and I was inspired and I knew I already had to run errands today, so worked out. Happy Monday. So today I am continuing filming a video that is gonna go up in a couple weeks because I can't remember if I've said this in a vlog yet or not, but I have been like really going for it, filming a lot of videos to get ahead for the holidays. For a couple reasons, this holiday season, I am hoping to do more videos. I really like to do extra videos during the holidays because we're all inside. It's when I watch YouTube the most. Like everybody I know usually watches YouTube more, or like Netflix or whatever. So I'm gonna have more videos come out. And another reason why I need to get ahead now is because during the holidays, I actually take time off to spend with my family. So if I get stuff done now, when life is a little more mellow, then I can take more time off later, spend time with the people I love. Let me show you some things. So I actually went to Target and I bought a bunch of cute little things to paint. Literally, I'm painting random things I found at Target. And then this like caddy box here is super cute and I want to leave the inside of it as it is. And so I'm just gonna paint like a pattern over the white. And I think that will be really cute. Like less is more for that sort of thing. And then I found this like scratched up little $3 house decoration at Target too, in the dollar section. And I figured, you know what? I may as well buy the scratched one so somebody else doesn't accidentally buy it and be sad. But plus, uh, it is a little more rough around the edges, which means paint will stick to it better. And I got these Mondo Llama paints and they're really cute. I have some exciting news to share though and I'm so pumped to show you. So I have not released washi tape in a while. And I actually finally have one to release, so let me show you what it looks like. So if you've been with my channel for years now, I came out with these Avocados stickers like three or four years ago, and I decided to make them into a glittery washi tape. Let's open one of these up so you can see it better. You come back here, pull the cute little tab, rip the sticker that I spent all that time designing. Thank you. It's kind of hard because this is pink paper for a background, but this is the gorgeous tape up close. You can see the glitter. Ah, oh, I just love it so stinking much. So the designing and manufacturing process for washi tape for me is usually like, Mm, a month, a month and a half. 
I go back and forth. Um, I run my design by like family and friends sometimes just to get their thoughts. And I sit on it for a while and then I talk to my manufacturer and they look it over, they tell me their thoughts and then we move forward. But I pay extra to do glittery washi tape because it's so much thicker, it's less see-through and I just think it's really pretty. So yeah. I think the quality is a little bit better than like normal washi tape. I probably will come out with some more normal washi tapes though because I know not everybody likes glitter, but I'm really into the glitter washi tape. And it's like a really, I don't know if you can tell, the glitter is really subtle. It's like a very classy type of glitter. So that's me advertising to you in this video that I have new tape in my shop. <laughs> I'm just so excited about it, really. That's why I'm showing it to you. I get so pumped when I launch new products because behind the scenes, I spend so much time on this stuff. I pour my heart into it and I don't know. It's just, there's so much that goes on behind the scenes and that's why I've started doing more studio vlogs, but whatever. I have something else to show you. So this thing is something that I've been working on for a really long time as well. I have new notepads and these are so cute. Ugh, look at that, very cute. So last year I did a holiday box in my shop and everything in the box was exclusive to the box, but it was sort of holiday themed, like some of it was and some of it wasn't. So this year I'm doing like a cozy themed box. It's not necessarily like holidays. It's more like a cozy feeling box with some stuff to celebrate like creativity sprinkled in. So it's a very intentional thing and everything in that box is exclusive to it as well. These notepads are part of the box. I will probably do a separate video on the whole box thing because it's a really involved thing <laughs> and it's going to take a long time to assemble them and put them together so that will probably be its own video and you can see a lot of the things in the box and this box will be a partial mystery box so like you'll know everything you can potentially get just like last year but it's a partial mystery box and you'll see what I mean in the video. I'm gonna go film all this and have fun painting. Oh my goodness, it is 8.30 now. What? I'm calling it a day. I worked in the evening today. I spent earlier today with the babies and it was a good day. They're asleep, by the way, right now. <laughs> this room is an absolute disaster right now. Like, I need to clean it. I just need to spend some time cleaning up my crusty, musty palettes and paint brushes, but I keep putting it off. I literally just left all of this up last night because, oh crap, that's not good for my paint brushes. It's not like I've been taking the greatest care of them lately anyway, but I got really sidetracked. Wow, I finally cleaned this off. <laughs> Got some free stuff from Grove Collaborative. Their cleaner actually smells really good. Let's find a different candle for in here. I'm trying to use up all my Bath and Body Works candles because I no longer buy them. Like they're just not as good as they used to be. I think I like the pattern better than the label, so we're just gonna do that. There, my background isn't as cluttered now. This is not the lens that I use for my main videos, but you get the point. Got my studio helper. Taking product photos now for the stickers. They are now available at mirabiler.com. This tape is so stinking cute. Welcome to my creepy basement and welcome to the non-creepy side. <laughs> Got my new stuff all loaded. I'm just restocking some other things right now. I'm 
I'm pretty sure these are like listed as sold out in my shop right now. And I don't know why, because I have a lot of them. That would explain why they're not selling. So I should readjust my inventory. I don't know how I messed that up. Anyway, I'm gonna work on orders and then maybe I'll tidy up this area a little bit because it's kind of like needing it. Lots of people have been ordering this tape lately. It's one of my favorite ones currently. to finish this painting today. I need to go over some of these layers because they're a little thinner than I would like. It's kind of in series with this painting that I did a couple years ago. It is cold today. It is a perfect fall day. You know how when it rains and things just seem to have a lot more saturation because of the gloominess? The trees just look beautiful today. Like very vibrant red and orange and yellow and green. I think people think my favorite season is fall on my channel, but I can assure you it is spring and summer. <laughs> oh, I just, I think I just get excited for fall though. I like when seasons change. That's the most exciting thing, I think. So I'm gonna go paint. Well, it's getting there. It's about five hours in so far. Well, I'm gonna go downstairs, eat dinner, spend time with my family and all that fun stuff. This video will probably be out sometime after this vlog, this uh, greenhouse one. So you can see the finished piece in that. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. So thanks for hanging out. Thanks for packing orders with me and just getting a peek behind the scenes and doing art with me, those kinds of things. I'll see you later. Bye.